Hospital codes are often fast-paced and chaotic. The room fills with clinicians, and someone declares themselves the recorder. Ideally, they use the code record sheet found on the crash card to record key code events. In reality, they may need to use a paper towel, a glove, scrub pants, or whatever is handy to record critical information in the heat of the moment. Recording during a code in this way can result in inaccuracies or missing or illegible information. It can be even more difficult if the recorder is inexperienced or isn't ACLS certified. RescueNet CodeWriter is an easy-to-use application that works on a smartphone or tablet to simplify code documentation during resuscitation events. CodeWriter allows clinicians to immediately and accurately record events with the touch of a few buttons, eliminating the need to manually record key code data on paper. Launching CodeWriter and tapping Start New Code opens an easy-to-use documentation screen for key data. The CodeWriter application is accessible from a mobile device or a tablet, depending on your hospital's preference. Often, the application is installed during deployment with network configurations already enabled. To set up a new device, download RescueNet CodeWriter from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Launch the app and tap the gear icon to access settings. Select Network Configuration and enter your hospital-specific network settings provided by your hospital's liaison. Tapping Start New Code launches a documentation screen set to adult mode by default. Users can easily toggle between adult and pediatric modes using the buttons at the top of the screen. In adult mode, CodeWriter suggests common drug dosages based on current American Heart Association guidelines. In pediatric mode, the recorder must enter drug dosages manually. When Start a New Code is tapped, a timer begins and remains visible on the screen throughout the code so you always know how much time has elapsed. The top row of buttons includes CPR, Epi, and Shock. When any of these three buttons are tapped, they begin keeping time. All three are accessible from any therapy page and can easily be tapped from any screen to document information without returning to the home page. The CPR timer flashes if activated for longer than two minutes or if CPR has been paused for more than 10 seconds. The epi timer begins to flash at the three-minute mark and also displays the number of doses of epinephrine recorded as administered. The shock button displays the time since the last shock was delivered and the number of shocks recorded. Initiate a practice code and explore all of CodeWriter's features. Notice the timer buttons on the top row and review all key events you can record, such as rhythm, procedures, meds, ROSC, and vital signs. Refer to your code log as you interact with different features. This video tutorial features a mock code blue with the CodeWriter application inset to show accurate event documentation. Note that your application screens may differ slightly. CodeWriter was updated since this video was made. Consider watching the CodeWriter mock code video in its entirety. Play the video again and use CodeWriter on your device to chart along with the video. John, I have your pain medicine. John? John. Call a code, please. Hey, guys. This is John. He's a 28-year-old male who came in a couple of days ago with a drug overdose. Um, he was doing well, took his line out today because he was getting ready to go home. His buddies came in, I came in to give him some pain medicine and found him unresponsive without So he was fine until his buddies came? He was fine, yep, came. getting ready to go home. He was fine until his buddies came. He's a known IV drug abuser. And I'm sorry, his IVs are removed? His IVs were removed. Okay. I was bringing him some PO meds. So CPR, we'll okay. make sure we have a backboard on him, please. I'm going to put some pads uh, get on. Get an IV going. Why don't we... Try some Narcan. Oh, Once the IV is established, we'll go okay. ahead and push Narcan to see if that wakes him up. How does his pupils look right now? Pupils are dilated. Right, we'll go ahead and once the IV's in, we'll go ahead and uh, push yeah. the Narcan. Let me know what the rhythm is. When defib you... on the monitor. Okay, continue CPR, please. Yep. Let's get an IV. Is the IV in, please? IV is in. Okay, let's go ahead and push fluid. epinephrine one milligram. Why don't you go ahead and move to a definitive airway at this point? Okay. 
So what's going in there? That's sailing running wide okay. open. We're getting the epi right now. Right, okay. Can you let me know when the epi is in, please? Yes. Good, good pulses with compressions. Good. Thanks. Epi. How are you doing Airways with the airway? In. Can we confirm placement, please, with cathography or uh, color metric change, please? Good what color change. What right. epi is in? Breast Somebody sound. can listen to the breast sound, please. Where is that to? And what size? And where is it at? Got a 7 at 23. 7 at 23. Confirmed. Good breath sounds. No epigastric sounds, too. It's a good placement. Good job. Okay, good. Uh, has the epi been given? Epi has been when given. When epi's in. Okay, let's go ahead. It's been two minutes. Can we get ready to defer Billy Hem, please? Yes. Can we go ahead and defer Billy at 120 joules, please? Charging. Okay. Okay, everybody Ready stand clear. 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 Okay. Shocking. Shocking. Do you want to switch? Yeah, shock. Okay, shock thanks. delivered. Okay, switching on the CPR. Let's uh, resume CPR, please. Still VFib. Okay, let's get another round of Epi after we have two minutes have gone by, please. In the meantime, we can give him some magnesium. Got the epi. He's easy to bag? Easy to bag, good compliance. Okay. No okay. problems there. Uh, feel good a chest blood pressure with, do you feel a pulse with her CPR, please? Good pulse with compression. Okay, good job. Good. Second epi's in. Good epi's in. Magnesium. Why don't we go ahead and get ready to shock? Okay, charging. Okay. Great compressions for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear. Everybody's clear. clear. Everybody clear. Go. Okay, shocking. Mm -hmm. Shock delivered. Still need to. Okay. No pulse. Continue please. CPR, please. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and give him 300 of amiodarone. If the line is established, let's get some uh, electrolytes. Let's okay. get some uh, ABGs. Magnesium's in. ABG. So we'll get your ABGs. Electrolytes. And let me know when the amiodarone is in, please. Pupils still unreactive and very dilated. Okay, continue CPR. How is he in the bag? Is bag he okay, no Am problems. Amiodarone bolus in? No change. Okay, amiodarone. Okay, blood gas is cooking. And the fluids are wide open, and the amiodarone is in yet? Yeah? Amiodarone is going in right now. Okay, thank you. Amiodarone okay, is in. Okay, let's get that circulated. Looks like he's had about a liter of saline so okay, far. Okay, very good. We'll, we'll go ahead and get ready to uh, shock him a third time. Okay. Oh, he just changed his rhythm. What do we have? Uh, looks like a bradycardia. Can you hold CPR? Check for a pulse, please. I have a weak carotid pulse. Very thready. Very thready radio. Why don't we go ahead and give him uh, one milligram of atropine and let's get ready to pace him, please. It looks to be a third degree block. So we'll go okay. ahead and uh, externally pace him. Okay. Gonna set Hold the, the atropine. Set let's the just pace, pace him right now. Get ready to pace him. Okay. Still have a pulse. Okay, good. Okay. So let pacing. me know what, what you have capture at, please. Okay, we have capture at 80 milliamps. And what is your rate set at? 70. Can you push the rate a little bit? Let's start some dopa, please. Start dopa at five. Let's sure. titrate for a blood pressure. Of, see if you guys can get a map. What would you like to rate? 70. Uh, how about we go to 80 for now? Okay. Rates at 80. Continue with monitoring good. of pulse. Good. I got it. It's That's good. Good radio pulses. Let me cycle blood pressure. Okay. No change here with the compliance. Good. Okay. Let me know when your dopa is up and going. I would like to start at five mics per minute, please. And then I want to check his blood pressure at the rate of 80, and on the blood pressure on the dopa, please. You started at five mics per kilo per minute. Yep. Cool. Get started. Okay. Without the dopamine, his pressure is 70 over 40. All right. Let's give the dopa some time. Let's see how he's doing. In the meantime, I'm going to call the coronary care unit. See if we can get him a bed. So basically, he was doing okay until his buddies came to see him. So it looks to be something his buddies perhaps have given him. It sure does. So continuing monitoring him, continue titrating your DOPA for your blood pressure effect. He may need a Foley put in for him. Uh, let's keep him paced for now, and uh, we'll go ahead and get a ventilator for him. Good pulses with that. Good. Uh, anybody have any questions? No, nope. we'll let you know if we have any problems. All right, thank you. Thank you.
When time permits, original entries made during a code can be modified or enhanced by adding additional details in the code log. Simply tap Expand Code Log, select the entry you'd like to modify, add any additional details, and hit Save. Details may also be added to code log entries after a code is ended. When reviewing the event log, simply select the entry you'd like to amend, add additional details or make necessary changes, and hit Save. Until a code is closed and uploaded, recorders can correct errors in CodeWriter the same way they are corrected in electronic medical record charting. Simply select the error in the code log during the event, or in the event log after the code is ended, and tap Delete. The app will ask you to confirm the deletion. Once deleted, the information and initial time of entry remain visible, but now feature a line through them. Before a code is closed and uploaded, Previously deleted entries from the code log or the event log can be restored by selecting the entry and tapping the Restore button. Doing so removes the line struck through them, retaining the original entry and timestamp. Once a code is closed and uploaded, it isn't possible to make any additional modifications to the documentation. We hope this video has provided a better understanding of how to use RescueNet CodeWriter. For additional practice, consider charting along with the mock code video again. Thank you for viewing this module.